Activists like Abu Akbar Maytak say simply identifying as Uyghur in China is cause for suspicion and even arrest. Uyghurs are a Turkic Muslim minority living mostly in China. The Uyghur Human Rights Project says millions of their people have been accused by Beijing of terrorism or harboring anti-Chinese sentiments. It says they're being rounded up, detained and sometimes even killed. Gulbaha Jalalova says she was held in a concentration camp for more than a year. She says she was confined to a cell just three metres wide and seven metres long. She says they'd sit in that hunched position for 17 hours a day and were allowed only two hours sleep a night. Human rights groups say prisoners are beaten for days at a time and forced to renounce their religious beliefs and culture. Abu Akbar Maytak says his sister has been detained for more than two years. He says her only crime is being Uyghur. But he says he can't. The father of two is living in Turkey with his family. If he goes back to China, he says he'll end up in a camp too. It's unclear exactly how many centres there are, but activists and academics estimate at least 120 detaining more than one million people. They're concentrated here in China's western province of Xinjiang, a region Uyghurs call East Turkestan. It was an autonomous Uyghur country briefly in the 1930s and again in the 1940s, but now it's a vital geopolitical corridor in China's infrastructure plans. Leaked documents obtained by the International Consortium of Investigative Journalists have exposed what could be described as operating manuals for the detention camps. It's the first time the outside world has been given an insight into how the centres are run. The documents include classified guidelines on how staff prevent escapes, maintain secrecy, and forcibly indoctrinate inmates. But China has dismissed the leak, saying these facilities are re-education centres needed to stamp out extremism. Here, Beijing likens the centres to boarding schools or vocational training centres and denies they're being used to torture people. The document, so-called document you're talking about is a peer fabrication. If you want to have a document about this vocational training education centre, we have many documents. 
Don't listen to fake news. Don't listen to fabrications. Yet, the distress in the Uyghur community is undeniable. But how can rights groups demand a powerful nation like China stop its abuses when it denies it's doing anything wrong? Melinda Nusifora, The Newsmakers.